What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another Marvel Strike Force video. Today we're going to be doing Doom Campaign Nodes 1-7 through 1-9. The team up above is the team that I found best suited me to 3-star all the nodes. You can use a different team on the first node, but this is the team that I found best suited me for all the nodes and 3-starring them all the best. So let's get into this game footage right here. So the key with this team is you're going to have Captain America and Hulk on one side with Invisible Woman splitting in the middle, keeping Black Widow and Thor on the other side because when you have Thor's passive and you have that upgraded as the tanks taunt, Hulk and Captain America are basically going to take the brunt of the damage for this team, but it's also going to cause Thor to get his passes his passive off a lot so he's going to do that extra attack and just launch at people doing his aoe then you have black widow there who is definitely key she's the lowest power member on this team of mine but she is key because of that speed up that she applies and also i saved her stun to just get some key stuns on people that were going to about to take turns that were going to kind of mess me up like a hand sentry or taskmaster or someone that was just going to cause problems just to get them out of the way real quick and stun them for a bit invisible woman's great for sustain because she's going to apply that barrier but she could also hide your uh hide your allies and cloak the ones that you don't want to die and like leaving hulk open so he's going to take some more damage as you can see and thor is going to get off his passive and everything so as for t4s that i have on this team the only t4s i have i have three on invisible woman i have her special her passive and her ultimate and the only other t4 i have on this team is thor's passive besides that there are no other t4s on this team as for isos i went with striker on thor because you really want that extra attack for him to land when he's like has the vulnerable so he's your main damage dealer then i had skirmisher on invisible woman and black widow and then i did healer isos on Captain America and Hulk just to provide more healing and to get that extra health so that it was bouncing back and forth so Hulk would get more turns, taunt more, get that offense up, and do his AoE as well. So that was basically, that's the key for this team, and that's why this team works. And this is the team I've used. I used other teams, like I used the full Fantastic Four team with Captain America as my other member because you can't use Namor on these nodes to do this one, and I got the three-star but I couldn't three star the other nodes with that team. I could only get one or two stars. This is the team that I found best. Got me three stars most of the way, most of the time. So this is the ones that I found the best. You can also use a Nick Fury. I tried a Nick Fury, Shield Security, Invisible Woman, Medic, and I think it was Thor, I believe. I can't remember who the other one was, actually, the other member, but my Shield Medic and my Nick Fury aren't as beefy as they could be, so it didn't really serve that team. As you can see, they took care of that node. Very good. Three star, all done. On to some more footage. Now we're on to node 1-8. This is going to be the one right before the Negasonic node. The thing that sucks about this node is you have to kill the operators. And I believe there's five operator characters that drop in at different times. The, those Hydra looking guys in the back with the arrow above his head. And you have to kill them. Once you kill them all, the match is over. But they drop in at different times. And if you leave them alive long enough, they're going to do like this upload thing. And once they complete the four phases, like the four stage one is already complete, barely into the match already. And if they complete the four stages, then it's over and you lose the match. But you have to kill all the operators, so the key is kind of just nailing them down as fast as possible. The thing that sucks is you have people like Juggernauts and other tanks on this squad or on this node. <clears throat> but like I said, this is the team that I found best suited me it's difficult too because you got magneto coming in who's going to apply those blinds and everything and this team doesn't really have a character that flips buffs or anything like that but that that would benefit as like scientist supreme for sure or something like that but so far like it's still pretty good just make sure you have your characters at a decently high level because you want good focus to remove those buffs or else it's just going to keep getting resisted over and over and over but we'll keep continuing with the footage of the nodes. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the videos I post and everything. Have a safe and happy day, guys. Peace out.